Hey guys, it's Bart Johnson here, NAB 2017 on the show floor. This time I'm at the Black Magic booth here with Dan. Yep. And Dan, you guys uh, announced uh, quite a few things actually, ranging across a lot of your products here for, for this year. And uh, some of those things were upgrades to both the, the Ursa Mini Pro mm -hmm. and also the Black Magic Assist family of uh, monitor recorders. That's right. And these are these are sort of software updates that are expanding some of the capabilities yeah, of these, we, right? NABs are always a big show for us. We usually have lots of great announcements. This year we have a couple of these software updates that we wanted to, to show. Some are ready, some aren't, but it's always a great opportunity for us to talk to our customers about the direction we're going mm -hmm. and some of these things that we have planned for the future. So on the Video Assist family, we have we have one update that's available today, which is really just about languages, which of course, you know, for yeah. the US, maybe we're not as concerned about. From a global audience though, being able to go and say, I want to have Spanish, French, Japanese, Chinese. These are a big deal for us to be able to change all those languages. So that's the update that's gone out basically on Monday. Okay. We also wanted to show an update for the Video Assist 4K, which has the larger processing power to be able to add scopes. So we've always had these scopes available at the bottom, Down but the now bottom. we have the ability to actually add the waveform, the parade, and the actual vector scopes on here as well. So it's a, it's, a, it's a new feature that's going to be available later this summer. It's something that's been asked about. There's a couple other great things we can do where we can uh, have the video faded in the background. We're, we're trying to figure out a few last things like can we record and have the scopes up at the same time? Okay. Or are the scopes just going to be something you can put up, but if you want to go into record mode, you have to take the scopes off. So we've still got a few more things we want to work out about it, but we want to show people because they have been asking about can we get, if we're just using this strictly for an actual video assist and not a recorder, it'd be great to have these scopes in there. We want to show that we're working towards that and that will be a free update that we do later in the year. Very nice. And so, to reiterate that, you've got, you've got an update that's available right now for both the original video assist and the video Correct. assist 4K that'll give all of those languages. Yep. And then for the 4K, there's an update coming Down the that's going to give us all those scopes. That's right, a free and update for them. Exactly. And they are free updates. Um, and so you're working on just the sort of fine details fine -tuning and all that it, kind of stuff details. like that. Yep. And that is, that is a great tool to have all those scopes, especially because you have such a large uh, so it's a bright, such a sharp screen. Yep. You know, you can look and get a great image, but if we really want to go in and check all the details of our image, scopes are an amazing thing to have. Exactly. And if you can just have fewer things attached to the camera to do that, then why not build it into yeah. one? Exactly. So, so you've got waveform, you've got RGB parade, you've got a vector and, and histogram. Histogram's always been in the small, the small bit, but it is nice to be able to pull it up on the, on the larger well. screen. Exactly. Very, very nice. Um, so. This unit right now is attached to, of course, you guys, uh, brand new, new iteration Pro, of the Ursa yeah. Mini, the Pro. Um, and there was a, a little uh, a little Surprise. secret feature Surprise. that was hidden in gotcha. there. Yeah, so you know, Ursa Mini Pro we announced five or six weeks ago. It's gone incredibly well. It's, of course, the same 4.6K sensor we've been using. Lots of physical updates to the yeah. camera, the ND filters, the CFast and SD cards, and people have been really pleased with all that. One thing that we didn't quite have ready, but we did want to start shipping the unit was Bluetooth. Yeah. All of these had Bluetooth chips in them. We just weren't quite happy with the way we had that working at the time. Now we're pretty happy with it, so we've been showing everyone our actual Bluetooth application. And this, yes. is our, this is our own app that we've gone ahead and developed, and it's basically like you were using the Lank out the camera. It has all those same controls, but it's great because you basically pair it like any Bluetooth device with the actual camera, and now we have the ability to do all of those adjustments. So as I adjust through the F-stop here, you can here, even see right you can here see everything that I'm changing. actually making that move. If I want to adjust my white balance, I'm not going to show a lot on the waveform there. <laughs> um, Tint, all of these different uh, settings that are normally accessed via the menu setting, I can now stand 10-ish meters away via yeah. Bluetooth. Any range where you have, have decent Bluetooth control. connectivity. Exactly, yeah. including start, stop, recording, all of those type of things. The other really cool thing that people have been asking about for years is the ability to add metadata remotely. Because it's a bit of a pain in the butt when you're the operator and you're trying to get those clips and tag in, this is scene one and this is I want the take that I want to have. Yeah. This is a great way to be able to have the DP working the camera and have an assist off to the side saying, I want to take you know, I want to make that my good clip, I want to make the new name, I want to make different changes to that metadata and have that be embedded in the camera. So it's a great, this isn't even like really fully flushed out to all the things we want to do. We still want to be able to connect to multiple cameras at the same time. I heard that mentioned uh, so, yesterday you know, morning. So this, yeah. is, so this is a great, we've got it working version 1.0 version that we're excited to be showing people. Okay. But we know there's a lot more that we're going to have potential to do with 
at the same time. So it's a great update that's going to also is it basically a free update for people on the Ursa Mini Pro that we're excited to be showing at NAB. And when is that update, the, the version 1.0? I believe the 1.0 is now live for people to download. So okay. I think there's it's still maybe in a beta type of phase right now. But okay. we definitely want people to start talking about it, telling us what they think, because it's very easy to update the application. So we're really looking forward to getting that in people's hands. Yeah, and it looks like if you're familiar with the interface of the camera, it's it's an identical interface to exactly what exactly. you see in the menus. We want, it to be, we want it to be familiar so that we can go ahead and have the same type of look and feel so that people aren't confused by moving between the two devices. Exactly. Now, uh, we're running it on an iPad right now. Do you have uh, both systems, Android and iOS? I, be I believe right now it's just up on the App Store, so we have some more work to do on okay. that. But I think it's something that we've been working on. I have to double check with the engineers on that. Okay. Well, at least we know that this is just the ground level into the, the control of this. The fact that you guys are working on the interface, working on adding stuff, working on making sure it's on both platforms, and also the ability to potentially in the future control multiple cameras. Uh, I mean, that's fantastic. Would, you know, anything that we can do to add more value is always great, but also being able to create new workflows and empower people to do things that they weren't able to do before is always exciting to us. Yeah, well, I think you guys have done a great job. I know everyone was uh, surprised to hear that there was a feature already buried in there that we didn't know about, so that's always nice a to nice, see. A nice treat. <laughs> yeah, it's always great. And, uh, and and free upgrades also always a nice thing. Yep. So thanks so much, guys, no for problem, that. No problem, Bart. And you guys, make sure to stay tuned to the channel. I'm going to have a lot more coming from NAB 2017.